Just a wizard in the woods. Good morning from Tallinn, Estonia, the digital economy. I came here by boat from Helsinki, Finland. Wait a minute. I feel kind of bad. I'm gonna give her some money. You're too cute to be homeless, the fuck? Hey, I have some plans. Um, I'm going to cake in the cock and the McDonald's. Maybe I can give you some food and we can see some cakes in the cocks. Okay. Thank you, kind sir. But I'll need a little bit of cash to cover this, okay? It's okay. <laughs> All right. You see, I'm in a kind of medieval mood after being in that tunnel. Now we've reached the military tunnel after seeing the relics of World War II. And I don't know if, if I look like a terrorist or like a nun with the cross. I mean, it's a good look though, regardless, isn't it? Yes, yes. She saw my European passport and had to do a little investigation. Meanwhile, glanced at your passport and now immigrants have more rights than me. This boat is perfect for illegal immigrants. Because you can just hop on and there's no passport control, there's no security. Are we even in the right boat? Alcoholics, stay away. Everybody is drinking. There's no water on this menu, there's no coffee. Recovering alcoholic, if you don't want to be pestered 8 in the morning, stay away. Okay, so let's show you around the boat. The ferry link between Helsinki connecting Tallinn was popularized in the 70s. And the cool thing about this journey is that there's live music and live performances. We're approaching the final layer. This is where all the Brits come up to tan like red tomatoes. The center of the Baltic Sea, where the Vikings that traveled to the pro talent, is Russia, Finland. Killer dogs greet you when you land in Estonia. Make things worse, they were in this drastic cave. We're heading to the digital city to see what it's all about. After World War II, Estonia fell to Soviet occupation, which resulted in lots of deportations, russification, more problems for their economy. Their economy was at a standstill. There was only factories during the Soviet time, so... Unlike Greece and the Balkans, there's barely any street cats. The only cats that you'll see on the street in Helsinki ones that escape the cat cafe. It's here? Don't know, we just came here. And they've desecrated something Russian here. Good morning from the middle of nowhere in northern Helsinki, heading to Sip Sipunkorpi National Park. Home to brown bears, wolves, ticks, and the possibility of getting lost. Are you excited? Super excited. <laughs> this is what a random Finnish village. We need to head through this small village. Gym, playground, camera control. The wizard in the woods. My staff. She was jealous of my staff, you see. So she got herself in one. Mm -hmm. Nicer one actually. It has a yes. nice little bend Mine where you hold it. Better. <laughs> Two wizards in the woods. So we're here hiking with our beautiful staffs. And then there's this camouflaged vehicle. It seems to be an army vehicle. Not too deeply nestled in the forest. Very rustic and small. Let's find some squirrels. Should we go squirrel hunting now? Yeah. Everywhere I turn, oh, nice guy. Guy. thank you. The storm is gone, but I am still a wreck. Maybe I should work it out. So we found McDonald's in the end. We saved a homeless woman, We're gonna feed her. She was too cute to be homeless, so here we go. 
Old Market Hall opened in 1889, standing as Helsinki's oldest indoor market, which you can see is both charming and cozy. Prices here make Switzerland seem cheap. How much do you think roughly three handfuls of reindeer jerky costs? Hello. How much is this for the reindeer? Sorry? How much is this uh, cost? 10 euros. 10 euros. This is for the reindeer. Sorry? How much is this cost? Yes, you can make a reservation. We can make one in person? Or? Uh, well, you can. If uh -huh. you, um, it would be nice. <laughs> yes, you can come. Here. Nice. <laughs> they have nice little uh, wood planks. Yes. Soviet propaganda in the 1980s the Bastion passages were used to store items related to the Soviet propaganda. These were flags, slogans, portraits of party leaders, posters used in the May and October parades. The second raid was in the middle of the night from 1 to 3.30 a.m. Claro, tiene que ser cementerio, ¿no? No lo pone ninguno. No. 